Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ifeolua Oni, aka Ifeolua the YouTuber. And with me today, I have... Anulua. <laughs> Alright, so by the title and the thumbnail, you already know the kind of video we are doing today. <laughs> so basically, we are going to be talking about the pros and cons of living with your parents after graduation versus living alone. So let me just give like a little backstory. So Anu currently stays in our family house. Yeah, and I stayed back in Ife, so I lived alone. So now, just in case you're about to graduate from school, or you are thinking about moving out from your parents' house, or staying back, just watch this video so that you know, you know, the pros and the cons of both, and then you pick your struggle. Please, if you are yet to subscribe, kindly subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section, and share with your friends. And without further ado, Let's jump right in. In the sense that you don't have to always explain yourself when you want to make a particular decision or you want to go out. They're like, where are you going to? You want to do this. They're like, why are you doing this? Uh, you have freedom to actually take actions and make your decisions without any third party, except you actually want to like involve them in your decision. But living alone comes with a lot of freedom. And I feel like every adult should experience a little bit of freedom. And the number one Coco of the Oro. <laughs> you get to save money because you're not thinking about rent, you're not thinking about food stuff, you're not thinking about transport sometimes. Eh? Light, food. Light, food. Yeah, nothing, food. nothing. You're not thinking about something you need to spend your money on. Because you already like have those for free, kind of, already there. And so you get to use your money for other stuff you get to be able to prioritize your money on other stuff that you already have so like if you know that this stuff comes second after all what i firstly mentioned because obviously you need to pay your rent into buy food and everything. those ones come first then next list now becomes like your first list and then you get to save more actually because actually especially if you are working and you're making money the money just going to your pocket. No, you can save half without thinking of you still need money too much. You can save half or more than half, safe and you're good. So now I feel like if you are living in your parents' house, it's easier to just relax. It's easier to get used to the fact that somebody else is taking care of you, right? But when you are living alone, your brains, every aspect of your head. What's the word? Shall get <laughs> when you're living alone, you, you start thinking for yourself, you start thinking about your future, you start thinking about oh, okay, what next? How do I do this? How do I do that? I feel like if I was living in my parents' house, I would not be I, I would not be as responsible as I am currently. So I feel like if you want to be more responsible, if you, if you feel like it's very easy for you to get relaxed, then I would advise that you stay alone if you're making money. Ja. I would advise that you stay alone. That way, you're, you become much responsible for yourself and you take your future into your hands. Well, this is for if you're already making money. And yeah, that's why I put it. It's not for money. everybody. If you're not making money and you don't spend too much, make your parents out. And even if you are making money and you, and you feel like you're very disciplined and all of that and you won't get relaxed, you can still stay in your parents' house. You can still stay in your parents' house. I mean, there are some people that they were not staying at home throughout their whole should I say education years you know some people they they school boarding secondary school, school boarding school or they can school in another town uni again you're not schooling at home you're not staying at home during your uni and everything so you can use this period to actually get closer to your family members you get to stay there for a while well if you want to stay there for a while you get to stay there and get to oh so this is how it is what i've missed all these years <laughs> I feel like COVID did that for us, right? Oh, well, we got to, yeah, no, like, yeah, yeah. I got to know, I got, I got to stay with my family, like, because, I, like I said, like I mentioned or when she was talking, I was in body school for six years, right? And then I entered school straight up, you get? So it was like, and when I was not in boarding school, my sisters were in boarding school. So everybody, we were never at home together, except maybe during Christmas or stuff. So for one year, we were, oh, yeah, apart from my elder sister, she wasn't around. But we were, ah, 
I knew I got to know more about my family members, and I'm like, so I actually agree with that point. You get to connect with your family members if you stay at home. All right, so now let's move to the cons. So everything has both advantages and disadvantages. So now when we mention it, then you get to pick whether you want to stay alone or you want to stay with your parents. But before we go into the cons, please, I'd like you to leave a comment in the comment section. Are you team stay alone after school or team stay with my parents after school? Please let me know in the comment section. Thank you very much. Almost everything you want to do, it is your money. You want to buy food stuff, it's your money. You want to pay rent, it's your money. You want to buy new clothes and stuff, it's your money. You want to make your hair, it's your money. Girl stuff, it's your money. Every single thing is your money. Because I mean, you decided to be independent. So I mean... <laughs> match up with that standard so you can't keep calling your parents every time oh i need this or oh, i need that why not just move back home i don't understand do you get so i feel like when you decide to stay alone just know that as you are deciding to stay alone you are going to be spending a lot of money and you won't be able to save as much as someone who is still staying at home will be able to save if you are someone that likes going out that likes doing things a lot more freely the freedom you want, you might not get. Because they're always weak. As you're coming out from your room, you'll be seeing them in city room as you're sitting there. <laughs> but if you're someone that likes staying at home, it may not be an issue. But if you want your freedom more, staying at home is not for you because you might not get that. Any small thing, any small phone call, you might have, they'll talk about it or they might talk about it. Small phone call, let your phone ring like 10 times in one. Or pressing your phone for I'll be pressing your phone too much. Or be stay, stay in your room for too much. Okay? It's, <laughs> it's a problem. It's a problem. Actually. If you stay in your room, that was the problem. So you might you get choked off. Or you have or you have plan for your day and then just gets yeah. gets disrupted because they have another plan for you. Imagine you're planning your day you and then as you're going out, they just tell you they'll just give you like ten list of something you are meant to, and you'll be like, how will I merge this with my own? Surely if you have younger ones. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to think very, very well. This staying at home may not be for you <laughs> if you know you cannot handle this. You know how when you are in the midst of people, there's no how. Even when you are not in the mood, you don't feel like it. So what if we shall look for your trouble? Someone shall say something or do something that we shall. I mean, have, even if you smile at that point, and go, do you get? But when you are alone. You are going to stop. You can sink into that mood for as long as as possible because why? There is nobody around you, right? Except you intentionally now bring people into what you are going through. But with staying alone comes with this. Staying alone comes with the fact that you can actually get depressed. Is not the word, but even if you're a very, you a very cheerful person, you are, you can actually sink into your shell more when you stay alone. Because now you will get used to being alone. You will get used to going a whole day without talking to somebody or having somebody physically present with you. Do you get it? Especially if maybe you are even working from home again. You might get too used to that. And then when you now come out, it's now difficult for you to actually relate. So I feel like that also comes with staying alone. But for some people, it might not affect. But that is another con that comes with staying alone. The pressure is two ways. Pressure from yourself and pressure from your family. So some people, eh, you just, they say they can't stay at home because they are being they can be called ten times in one minute. To come and do something. That's pressure. Because and then maybe if you're not doing something, if they don't see you doing something, like see you, not that you're not doing something. But parents, most times they don't they see you doing bring something. That up. They'll always bring that up. Like at that point you continue because you start being frustrated and, and then for and some so people yeah. Yeah. and i feel like once that comes into play and then you start feeling frustrated is at that point you now begin to see some of your mates that maybe look like they are doing so much with yeah. themselves and so much with their lives then you now begin to feel even more pressured so I feel like that as well. Oh, mm. oh see, lock up. Yeah, that's how they say <laughs> that one. If you have parents that are on this kind of stuff, I don't think maybe you can add this thing at home. No, if you have parents that are on those things, parents that are on that, I don't think staying at home might not be a good choice. Because mm. you feel too pressured to enter into something you're not meant to enter. Yeah, if they maybe attend wedding. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you are telling me from that wedding. That's your mate. Check it. No, I'm not making it. Well, they're not pressuring me yet because I'm not at home. But they're not pressuring me. Well, I'm at home, but they're not pressuring me. So it depends on the kind of family you come from. And I think also they look at the age stock. Maybe they look at the fact they're already getting In this society, the age is. They, and they're not staying at home. Uh, and then there is one thing I want to, I, I just, me or my opinion, I think it's very important for everybody to at least live alone. At least, it might not necessarily need to be long, but I feel like it's important for everybody to at least live alone once before they actually get married. Why? Let me, let me, let me back my point. Now, I feel like it's one thing where you are moving from an extreme end to the other extreme end you are moving from being in your parents house where you are not paying rent you are not paying you are not sorting food you are not doing all of those things to now moving to a place where you have to be responsible for yourself you have to start thinking especially if you're a man you have to start thinking oh family even a woman you have to start thinking all of those things i feel like they are two extreme ends and it would be nice to stay in the middle for a little while before you actually move to the next extreme end i feel like it's necessary it's just like you move from being a day student all your life into mm. now moving away from or maybe you travel out of the country to go and be alone. I feel like they are going to be like unlike someone that has been in boarding school and has been away from their parents, it's not necessarily so different. So that's my opinion though. But what's your opinion? Let me know in the comment section. If you if you don't agree with me, let me know. And I really hope that this video has helped you if you are someone who is maybe about to graduate or you're about to make a major decision for yourself. I really hope this video is something that has helped you to you know weigh your options and pick which option you should actually go for. And just to enlighten you that if you decide to go for this option, these are the pros and the cons that come with it. So that it's like it's not like you experience it first before you now realize. Alright, so guys, thank you very much for watching. And just always remember whenever you decide to make a decision decide to also bear the consequences that come with that decision yes so yeah guys we've come to the end of this video if you're yet to subscribe if you're yet to like leave a comment and share please do so before you leave this video so yeah thank you very much for watching i remain thank your you favorite much. youtuber i remain your favorite <laughs> all right take care of yourselves bye bye